Hey guys, good afternoon. Today is Monday. I do not know what date it is. It's been a long time since I've cooked anything. And today what I'm planning on doing is cooking pork biryani. Okay, let me show you all what I got. Okay guys, so this is what I got. I've got 1 kg pork with bone. I've got 5 medium onions sliced. I've got uh, 2 medium tomatoes sliced. I've got half kg of long grain basmati rice, which is soaking right now. I've got kothmir, which is going to be the garnishing later. And I've got potatoes. All right. For this, what I'm going to do is now for this garnishing, what I've done is I've put one packet meat masala, one packet biryani masala, one packet garam masala. All right. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to heat one of this full garam masala in there with the onions. Okay and I'll get back to you. So I'm frying the onion with the masala. I'm going to make them golden brown. Yeah. And then I'm going to take half of the onions out for the biryani layering. Okay, so I've taken out the onions from there. I put it in another plate. I'm drying it down. I'm going to be using this pork dry inside there. It's already marinated with ginger garlic paste. Yeah, and the masala, I'm just going to dry, fry or stir for about four to five minutes. So what I've done is I've put the pork inside here. I've got the marination out. I'm just going to dry fry this so that the pork gets heated with some of the masalas. And then I'll put this gravy in and I'll make it a gravy. I'll be adding some of those back inside here to make it a nice, thick, flavorful gravy. I'll be adding the potatoes in the second round. Okay, so I fried the pork for some time. Now I put the extra gravy in. I'm going to be putting some tomatoes. I give the tangy taste to the biryani. And I'll be putting in the potatoes in as well right now. So they pick up some of the masala. And I'll be cooking this without covering it for about three to four to five minutes. After that, I'll pressure cook it for about three whistles. Now mix the biryani masalas, this extra two packets of that with the present pork which is inside with basically I've got two mutton biryani packets, uh, two mutton masala packets, two normal biryani packets, one garam masala packet inside here with 200, uh, 20 rupees yogurt, there's about 300 grams of yogurt, I've got two medium tomatoes sliced, I've got uh, two medium potatoes in quarters. I'm going to put one glass of water in right now and I'm going to cover and cook for about three to four whistles. Okay, I did some extra. I put in some red color food coloring as you can see there, 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 there. And I put one glass or one cup of water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it one bit, one time, and I'm going to pressure cook it. All right. Guys, we're almost towards the end. Now I'm just boiling. This is pressure cook for good four whistles. I'm waiting for the... Uh, gravy to dry up a little bit dad say hi mm. say hi to the guys hello this is senior lobo from casa de lobo and he's helping me with the boiling of three measures of rice that will go down here that's about half kg of rice and after we've done the rice after we've done the pork i'll show you how to layer it layer. as well hi right. till then guys see you in a bit all right guys so Everything's almost done. This is the fried or the cooked pork. I've transferred a little bit to the base of my biryani container. This is the white rice I put with the garam masalas. Now I'm going to layer it. So this is the first layer. I put very little pork down and I'll show you the rest one by one. Okay, so I got the first layer down. I put that pork then I put very little rice covering the top of the pork. I put a little kothmir as in for the garnishing and as you can see that onions that were there I put half of them here yeah and that will give the flavor now I'll show you what to do next so this is the second part of the layering first was pork then was rice then was kothmir and onions then this is all that additional 1 kg pork which I have now I'm going to layer it with rice so before that I do that I'm going to be putting the kothmir down a little bit then the rice on top then onion and kothmir. I'll show you. 
So that's the little bit of kotmir that I put. Now I'll put the rice. Okay, here I've covered the rice to the top. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a little bit of this kotmir all around it. Uh, that's alright for me. Put a little bit of these onions all around it. Now, as you've seen, I've not pressed down on the rice. Yeah, I've not pressed down on the rice because I do not want to disturb the long grain. I do not want to make it half grain. Yeah, so this is what I've done over here. Now, what I'm going to do is, I like my biryani colorful. So, I'm going to add a little red coloring and a little green coloring. I'll catch you back, guys in a bit. So this is the final cut. As you can see, you've got the red coloring there, there. Got some more pieces. One is there. I got the green there, 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 all around the sides. Now all I gotta do is this. I gotta do this. I'm gonna cover it and cook on slow flame for about one whistle. And the reason I'm doing it is because the rice that we've cooked was three fourth cooked. Now I'm going to be cooking it with the pork, which is going to take the masalas inside and the pork flavor. And hopefully it tastes good. Because I've done this with chicken and I know it tastes good. Now, first time cooking with pork, hopefully that's great too. Okay guys, it's raining pretty motherfucking heavy outside. And this is my biryani made. Let me turn it or mix it and I'll show you in a bit. Or let me show you, let me see if I can do it right now. So you gotta actually turn it from the side. Okay, I, I need to my hands. I'll, I'll do that show to y'all guys. So my people from YouTube, this is what it looks like. This is after mixing. It looks superb. The smell, the aroma is freaking crazy. I've taken one big dabba for me and another big dabba for me again. So this is gonna be my dinner. And my dinner, I eat like once a day. So this is superb taste yeah and i think i'm done for today oh uh, yeah this my friends is excellently done i have not made it the pork style i made it the chicken style use their recipes but the meat masalas you don't exactly get pork mutton biryani masala here or pork meat masala down here but just check it out man look at check that out that guy is nice and cooked this guy is nice and cooked got a little fat on this oh man this is gonna be tasty anyways i'm gonna catch you guys later all right this is me johnson signing out i probably put another video extending to this and unfortunately it's raining so it's going to take me some time it's about 4 30 in the afternoon evening today being i think 29th or the 30th let me see today being the 29th of the month so we got one more day till july i catch you guys in a bit